very good evening everyone welcome to another session of esic deputy director i hope you guys are preparing well because now your exams are very very near they're going to be held on 17th of july let me just reiterate one more thing that i have been telling from day one that every year it happens that the notification comes up very randomly kabhi bhi notification aa jati hai jaise ki abhi is baar aapki achanak se dates nikal gayi hain now you guys have very very less time so every year it happens that if you are preparing continuously agar aap pehle se hi continuously prepare karke chal rahe hain then certainly you are not going to face any problem but if you think that okay now the exam is dates are here and now i should start preparing aur ab main last 20 25 din mein exam crack kar lo so that's a very difficult task to achieve but nevertheless the idea should be that you should strategize and you should focus upon all those aspects which can help you fetch more marks so in this particular lecture i am going to talk about what are some of the prominent topics from section b which are going to be scoring and which you can go ahead with okay section a aapko pehle se hi pata hai it's a english comprehensive where you have 15 questions coming up from antonym synonym grammar and some other aspects and rc basically so uske liye to aapko continuously practice karni hai specifically from section b what all topics you can focus upon so that you can score better marks theek okay? hai so that is something that i am going to talk about in this video not a very lengthy video but it's going to be helpful theek okay? hai for sure so let's straight away move uh, to the important element but before that since a lot of students have been asking me every now and then on the telegram group that sir do we have a mock test so we have specifically launched the mock test series for esic deputy director position it has a comprehensive five mocks which have been built up based on the past year paper analysis jo ki harneet sir ne kar diya tha already agar aapne abhi tak channel pe nahi dekha hai please go and watch that on our channel it's available there so based on that these five mock tests have been formulated you can visit our website anujindal.in in order to enroll for these mocks or you can call us on the number 9999466225 okay and the email id is also provided that is info@anujindal.in if you have any further queries you can drop a mail there as well okay so this is about the test series now let's quickly move ahead and have a look so before i start i just want you all to have a glance as to what is the number of questions weightage for each of these topics and this has been strictly prepared as per the past year paper analysis so that you have a broad idea though we can't be sure that the same pattern is going to be followed but to have a certain idea certain framework we have built up this okay so principles of hrm a topic from commerce and management background it has approximately 10 questions okay principles of marketing again seven questions accounts and fm these are two subjects club together accountancy and financial management it has 11 question right to information act very small act not a very big act and the pdf which have been provided in the course is more than sufficient to cover it ek se do questions hi aate hain so one question has come up in the last time numerical ability and logical reasoning has the highest weightage coming up with 16 questions so i think if you have been preparing for various other competitive exams you will be well prepared with this fundamental of computer application some basic five questions general science a mix of questions from physics chemistry biology basics jo 10th tak ke ncert mein pada hua hai eight questions public administration and development issues five question freedom movement and indian union basically from the historical aspects 10 question last but not the least current events and national from a national as well as international perspective it has a weightage of 12 questions okay so this is a broad weightage that sums up to be 85 questions 15 questions from english and 85 questions from section b that is from 10 topics okay so you got a fair idea as to what is the number of questions that are going to probably come up in the upcoming exam okay now moving ahead let's move ahead and understand this now for the commerce and management student somebody who has a background in commerce let's say aapne bcom kiya hua hai mcom kiya hua hai mba kiya hua hai for them what could be a probable sequence of studies and for those who are from a non commerce background i am going to discuss separate strategies for both so first of all if i talk about commerce as well as management background the very first topic that you should be focusing upon is numerical ability and logical reasoning the only reason why i am talking about this particular aspect is because it has one of the highest weightage and if you have been preparing for various other competitive exam let's say you are preparing for upsc let's say you are preparing for sebi rbi nabat this particular section would have been comprehensively already been covered by you okay so i am expecting that so therefore the first topic that i feel you should be focusing upon in terms of scoring as much as possible is this particular area and the level is not very very difficult let me be very honest there okay now if i have to talk about the commerce and management area 
principles of HRM, you just have to put some effort in terms of revision. If you belong to this particular area, pick up any one good book. I've already talked about the book list. 10 marks. Next, accounts and financial management, 11 marks. And principles of marketing, 7 marks. So ideally, these should be the first priority section that you should be covering. First of all, you should focus on the numerical and logical ability reasoning cover karne ke saath saath, you focus on these areas which are your comfort zone or rather I should say these are your strengths. So that is the first area that you should be focusing upon. Post that, you can create a new section that is Right to Information Act, Computer Basics, General Science, Public Administration, Freedom Movement and Indian Union. This could be a second set of subjects that you can prepare. Now how you're going to keep a balance that I'm totally leaving up to you. But this could be a second set once you have covered your strength part. Because if you have covered your strength wale topics, cover kar li honge, you will get that confidence. And second, since you have already studied them, it is going to take less time as compared to the other topics. Okay. So second section could be created for these topics. And finally, because this is a current affairs topic where there's no limit as to where the things could go wrong or where the things could be asked. I feel that this is one section that should either be covered simultaneously or it should be covered at the end once you have covered the static portion because these sections are going to be part of your static portion only. Okay, so these are part of static portion. So these could be prepared first and then you can focus on the last and the third section. So this is how the students could go who are probably from a commerce or a management background. Okay, I hope this creates a logical scenario also. Let's move to the second kind of students who are from a non-commerce background. Let's say you belong from an art side or let's say you belong to an engineering domain. Okay. Now for you also the first thing that you should be focusing upon is numerical ability and logical reasoning because of the highest weightage. Okay. Next what you can do is you can focus upon these three areas that is general science, public administration and freedom movement and Indian Union. These could be the three further topics that you can prepare. Okay. Because probably if you are from an engineering background, you're preparing for various other topics, let's say you're preparing for RBI, let's say you're preparing for UPSC, you would have certainly gone through these topics from your GS papers perspective. Okay, that is the reason why I'm telling you to cover this first. So that could be a first set. Post you have covered your numerical ability and logical reasoning. Post that you can focus on the commerce subject. These are some of the commerce subjects that has to be focused upon. That is HRM, accounts and financial management, and then you have principles of marketing. So this could be a second set that could be created. Though it is not from a background, not from your own background, but certainly the level of questions are not of a very difficult level. They're not very, very difficult so that you cannot solve them. Okay. But if you're going through the basics, I think that is going to be more than sufficient, but conceptual clarity has to be there. Okay. So that could be a second set of segment of subjects that could be covered. Finally, you can focus upon the right to information, computer basics, as well as the current event of national and international importance. Again, for the simple reason is because right to information is a very small portion. Okay. Then you have computer basics for which you can just pick up the book from NCRT. I've already told. And thirdly, because current affairs could be asked from any angle, whether it be national or international. And if you are preparing from other topics, you will be thorough with them. So it's not important or it's rather I should say it's not relevant that you spend too much time on the current affairs because it might happen ki jo bhi aapne padha hua ho usme se kuch bhi question na aaye aur ye bhi ho sakta hai vice versa ki jo aapne padha ho usi mein se aa jaye theek hai for which i have already told you in the book list that you can go through spotlight covered by neha ma'am okay so that is going to cover a comprehensive element of national and international events theek hai this is about a broad sequence that you can probably use okay Nevertheless, I would like to highlight another important aspect. It all depends on your preparation. How are you preparing well? If you think you can cover up some, some other topics first, you can go ahead with that also. There is no problem. This is a broad strategy that I think is going to be very, very helpful for both commerce as well as a non-commerce background. Student. Okay. So that was all about this particular lecture. I hope you have been preparing well. If you have any doubts, you can ask me in the comment section or you can also ask me in the telegram group. Okay. That was all. Thank you. Please take very good care of yourself. Keep preparing. You do not have much time. Do not get distracted and keep preparing well. Do evaluate the mock test once you have started taking them. Okay. Take care and bye-bye.